Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Hell in a Cell. I'm Dream Ventura, in the booth with me is Gorilla Metso. Oh baby, it's finally time, one of the most brutal pay-per-views in wrestling. Hell in a Cell is here and we've got a Hell in a Cell match to open up the show. The extra arms belt is on the line and wow, look at this trio of pay to winners. Gems, tell us about it. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Pe Biscuit won his right to to uh, challenge Goliath, and then Noalius was added to it uh, last Monday Night Claw. So yeah, this is this is going to be a very exciting triple threat. Absolute monsters in the ring there. Absolutely, they could not wait for money in Jim's ass. They wanted <laughs> to get it done right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then, oh God, that's hard to look at. <laughs> The winner three fives are adding a mystery member to round out the trio in this grudge match against only hams. And of course that's Shawnee Fault Force and Chug Man Milk. Who is gonna come to the aid of the winner three fives? That's a good question. I mean, every, everyone must be jealous of their success in uh, SFL. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And then here it is, Wem Dope Open Challenge, a triple threat. And you gotta say, the Wemdope chat the Wemdope title, the only traveling belt in the JFW, and it sure looks like Stan Firm's got the advantage, the two the two to one advantage here to uh to retain and keep that belt on Friday nights. It's gonna be the undefeated Satterfield with the Wemdope title defending against uh Night Demon. A bit of a blood feud going there, and of course Rick Reckless, we don't need to talk too much about him. Everyone knows what he's done in the JFW. He won his way to try and uh, try and win uh, that title and bring it over to Claw. And if you're looking closely, you're looking at two number no, I'm sorry, one number one pick and two number two picks in this one. Night Demon, of course, the number one pick of Stan Firm, and then the number twos there, Rick. And Satterfield, Rick got edged out by Tony Plays Poorly. And, of course, we know there's a little history there. And I cannot wait to see Stan Firm retain. I mean, who is going to win <laughs> the Wem Dope Open Challenge title? Yeah, that's true. It's a bit bit, bit, bit underhanded there, getting that Stan Firm advantage, but oh, never mind. Oh, if you know Jimps would have done the same thing if he thought of it first. And, folks, yep. here's a Stan Firm exclusive title, the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship. And I know Jimps ain't going to try and steal this one away from me. It's going to be Space Cadet miraculously winning an over the top battle royale to to get a one-on-one -on -one shot against Moradam for the Plim Plom Pluserweight title. I don't believe Space Cadet has ever held any gold in the JFW, and I don't know that he could pick up that belt, but we're going to find out in this one. Can Space Cadet finally protect his balls? <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> Neither would I. And then it is finally time. I have been furious with both of these women backstage brawling, interrupting matches, ruining countless debuts of Marcel McDaniels. <laughs> so I'm throwing them in a cell and I'm keeping them there. It's Tren versus Mrs. Wanger and Hell in a Cell. And that probably sounded weird. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it doesn't put the lotion in the basket, but it's time for the Two Heads Championships, and you talk about horror shows. There's Lemon is Good and Fant Fox, the dastardly duo that uh, that really kind of shut down the Stan Firm tag division. Jim, what do we got from these two teams? Yeah, the Scousers earned their way to the title shot, and uh, the Glorious Ones failed uh, to, to add themselves to the match. So we just have a one versus one match up here. The rich versus poor, in a way, isn't it? Dress for business versus the dastardly Scousers. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, that sometimes the standard, you know, the bog standard tag matches can really expose who the better team is. A lot of times, you know, you see it from Dress for Business winning TLC matches and easy ways to sneak away with the titles, but this is pure tag team wrestling. Which team is going to come out with that with those titles? Yep. And then finally, your main event of the night. We've been building to this match for weeks now. 
Frost Lord Army, the world heavyweight champion, is defending against not one, not two, but three other men. That's right, Dimmy. Count it up. One, two, six. It's going to be Squirrel Dude, Dimmy G, and JBG locked in hell in a cell competing for the world championship around Frost Lord Army's waist. That's going to be a banger. Oh boy, howdy. I can't wait for that one. It's going to be absolutely incredible. That is exactly as you say. Thank you so much, Gorilla, for coming in and doing this with us. Absolutely. And Jim, you're not going to have to wait very long. Just a few hours to go before Hell in a Cell on the JFW. The only place to find Hell in a Cell wrestling this weekend, <laughs> I guess. Here we go. I'll see you guys at 8 p.m. UTC. Glorious. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.